your students the effect two and exactly accurate method to find out number of alpha particles released number of beta particles released when an element x converts into y having mass number and atomic number so how many alpha and beta particles have been ejected out you know this is a very confusing cases which you, we are going to discuss here now i am going to teach you an effective and accurate method what is that you can just say x 90 200 gives rise to y 80, 168. This is y. Okay. Let us take here how many alphas? M into alpha plus 2, 4 plus M into beta minus 1, 0. So let us take M alphas are released, M betas are released. We don't know how many betas and how many alphas are there. But you know the alpha is nothing but plus 2, 4. Beta is nothing but minus 1 and 0. It's very simple now. Let us take the mass numbers now. Let us take the mass numbers. This is 168. So this is 200 is equal to 168 plus m into 4, 4m, n into 0, 0. That's it. So here you have to find out what is m now. So m you have to find out. 4m is nothing but 200 minus 168. Therefore, m is nothing but this is going to be 32 divided by 4. So 4 is the 32. So how many? 8 alphas have been rejected out. 8 alphas are rejected. So M you got. You got the value of M. So 8 alphas have been rejected. How many betas are rejected you have to find out now. Very simple here. You can just take the atomic number. Just previously you have taken the mass numbers. You take the atomic numbers now. 90 is equal to 80 plus M into 2, 2M and N into minus 1, minus N. That's it. So what I am going to do, 90 is equal to 80 plus 2 into m. m is how much? m is 8. So therefore, 2 into 8 is going to be 16 minus n. Okay. So 90 is equal to, this is 96 minus n. So n comes to left side. n is equal to 96 minus 90, that is n equal to 6. That means, uh, how many? 6 betas and 8 alphas have been ejected out. So simple and logical and very, very effective and accurate method to find out the number of betas and alphas. Thank you.